Hi guys, so for today's video, I thought I would kind of get ready with you guys and kind of do like my everyday face, nothing too crazy, but the point of this video is just kind of show you guys a few of the different products that I've been loving, kind of like in my everyday routine. I have switched it up from my last get ready because I've been trying out a lot of new products, which I love and I swear they just make me look airbrushed, nice, smooth. And I love it. So yeah, if you want to see what I've been loving lately, let's get into it. So I already did my brows and I hydrated off camera. So I used the Derma E Radiance Face Oil. This is in collaboration with Sunkiss Alba. I've really been liking this. So I used this and then I did put some sunscreen on my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. I'm going to start off with primer. I've been loving the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I've been using this for about... I would say a month and I've really been liking it. I like the way it leaves my skin feeling. Just kind of like what it says, smooths and blurs. I don't really have like a huge problem with texture, um, but I do have certain areas where it's like, if it could be smoother, I would like it to be smoother. So I gave this primer a try and I really like it. I haven't, like in terms of primer, I'm not really like a big smooth and blur, um, pore minimizing type of primer girl. I don't know why I just said it like that, but when it comes to primer, I'm usually, I gravitate more toward like illuminating, luminizing, stuff like that. But what I've been doing is just focusing this like right here, on my basically like my t-zone just so it can give me like a blank canvas to work on and then if i want to add an illuminating primer i'll do that on the perimeter of my face but how i like to apply this is basically just pat it in i feel like you get better results when you pat stuff in because once you start swiping or like smearing or like using these motions you don't really concentrate the product in a certain place so I just pat it in if you're you feel like your pore minimizing primer or your smoothing primer isn't working and you do tend to just like try patting it in and see how that works and then I just let that sit for a little bit and go ahead and apply whatever I'm using for my base that day so for today I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about this. It just came out, but everybody's been talking about it. And honestly, honestly, this, this lives up to the hype. I'm that type of person that most of the products that people hype up aren't really like my cup of tea. I don't know, like, and it's okay. Like the Tarte Shape Tape. A lot of people compare this to the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't like the Shape Tape. It's just, I've said it before, it's hella thick and it's just, no. What I like about this, I'm in the shade Warm Beige by the way, so. What I like about this is it gives you the full coverage but it doesn't, it's not thick and it doesn't feel heavy. So it doesn't feel like you have hella hella shit on your face. And I'm that, I'm that person, like I don't like it when my face feels heavy but I do like covering, you know? Because that's what it's for. And the doe foot is big. It's like the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, helps you get a little bit more. So what I like to do, like I said before, I don't really like using foundation. So on my, whenever I'm getting ready to go somewhere, unless it's like a special, special event, what I do is usually I just blend out my concealer. And usually when I blend it out, it does blend out into the side. So it gives me that coverage anyways. And this concealer is multi-use. So they do say that it can double as a foundation. Doesn't look cakey. I love it. I love it. I love it. And how I do this is I wet my brush and I start patting the product in. This is like my first base of concealer. The first base of concealer that I use is my skin tone so it matches my skin tone. That way... It like evens out my skin tone and all that. Yeah, whenever you're blending out your concealer, you want to pat it in because most people, what they do is they swipe. And if you think about it, you're trying to concentrate that color in a certain area. So if you swipe, where are you really applying the color? I don't, you just want to pat it in. I know it takes a little bit more time, but I feel like you get the best results when you just and over time as you keep swiping under your eyes your under eyes is a very delicate area 
um, you will get wrinkles. It might not seem like it in the moment, but you will. So it started off here, but as I started blending it out, it eventually blends into the rest of my skin. So I get that full coverage look without having to add foundation, especially in the summer. So this is what I've been doing. The first base of concealer, I go in with the brush because the brush is going to give you fuller coverage than if you were to go with the sponge. All right. So once that's down, I like to go in with a, another concealer that's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. That way it highlights. And I've really been loving the Makeup Revolution Conceal Undefined. I've been using it for about a month as well. Mm, a little bit over a month. And I've really been liking it. This is another concealer that people compare to the Shape Tape and I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why because I like this concealer. I really like it. So how I use this concealer is I concentrate it more... I don't know if you can see, but I have like a little hollow right here. That's where I like to kind of like put that there. And I also like doing my forehead. So basically just anywhere that you would highlight, that's where I put the light concealer. And this just brings, it just brightens up my face a lot more. I really like this technique I've been doing it for a while now and it's just it's what's been working for me honestly and that's when I take my beauty blender and I just start blending that in and with my concealer I let it sit for a little bit I don't blend it in right away I let it sit and then I blend it out I feel like the color sticks on a bit more so I just kind of like blend it out you know and then this is where I would go over with my the butt of my beauty blender. I would just go over like my whole face just to make sure everything's blended out. And go over at the tip of my nose. Just so that way you don't really see where my concealer starts and where my skin actually starts. But since I dragged it like almost completely over my face. You shouldn't be able to tell anyways. After that, I like to contour. I don't really have anything new for my contour, so I'm just going in with the same Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. This is the same palette that I've been using since forever, and I just feel like it blends out well. It works for me, and cream contour isn't really like... Brands don't really come out with cream contour super often, so it's just like, you know what? Let me just keep using my same thing. But if you guys have like a certain cream contour stick that you guys like. I've been thinking about buying the Fenty Beauty one because I feel like contour just kind of like snatches up your face a little bit so it gives you that that snatch real quick and then bronzer just gives you that warmth so I kind of just pat it in I don't want to swipe too aggressively because it does it can wipe off the concealer that I put down so just kind of pat it in once I blend it in with the brush, it looks hella harsh. So what my beauty blender does is it softens it up. It blends it in a little bit more. There you go. Another product that I've picked up is the Cover FX Glitter Drops. These are so, so, so bomb. What I like to do is use this before I set everything down. Just add a little bit and it gives me such a nice glow. They're called Glitter Drops and it might look a little bit glittery. But it's just like... It's not like super harsh glitter. It just gives you a nice glow. So I put it here on the high points. Mine is in the shade Mirage. Just It's just such a nice base before that powder highlight. And I just blend it out with my beauty blender. And it's just like a seamless glow. It's so nice. Yes. Like look at that. Let me blend it out into my hand. I don't know if you can see that, but that's so pretty. Okay, so to set my face, you guys know I love, love, love my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Translucent Powder. Such a good pressed powder to set your face, but I've recently discovered this bad boy right here and... So Alyssa Ashley, if you watch her, you know this is all she uses. So she put me on. This is the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. So 
what I was using before, um, loose powder that I was using before is the RCMA No Color Powder. And honestly, this is okay. This is okay. Compared to this, this is okay. What I've been doing lately since it is hot, I don't really bake. So what I like to do is press the powder under my eyes and in the areas where I do get hella oily throughout the day or sweaty throughout the day because it's hot here currently. So I've just been kind of like, pressing the powder in so instead of like letting it bake I just tap it in and it just gives you if you guys can see in person like such a airbrushed finish I love it just go here and up here this is a go for me I bought it I would say like two weeks ago, it hasn't been a month since I've used this, but honestly, like I can tell when I'm gonna like something. Like I can tell you guys, oh, I'm gonna need a few more weeks to try it out, but I've been using this for like probably two weeks and this is bomb, bomb and only eight dollars. Look at this. Throw away your Laura Mercier because save your coin. After that's been set, I go in with my bronzer and I talked about this bronzer when I did I think the wet and wild video I think I don't know in some video I was like I got the physicians formula bronzer and I'll let you guys know if I like it I love this bronzer bronzer is so good and it smells hella good only downside to this is the shade range the shade range is trash trash if you're any darker than me you're not gonna be able to bronze with this mm -mm. Basically what I do is just go over where I contour, it warms my face up a little bit. So this is more carefree, doesn't have to be as concentrated as the contour. And it's only like $11 at Walmart, bitch. After that, a new thing that I've been doing is kind of like baking under my bronzer just to make it a little bit more snatched. What I like to do is take that same Makeup Revolution powder with my Beauty Blender and just go under and just kind of let that set. But this makes such a huge difference. I love the effect this makes on my face. And usually for my eyes, I don't really like to do much. Usually what I do if I do want to do a little something is just add a little bit of my highlight. So I'll either add the glow drops. I'll just top that off on my eyes or the powder highlight that I use I'll kind of just like wash that over my eyes so I'm just gonna curl my lashes and add some mascara and for mascara I've just been using the Maybelline Big Shot nothing special I did try the Too Faced Better Than Sex I finally like was able to try it out and I don't know what the hype around this is either like what literally if you're going to buy this go and get the Mine is all beat up, look at this, but the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, it's literally the same thing. This is $23 and this is like $10. This is okay, like it made my lashes look nice, but it's nothing like, I wasn't impressed. So I've been alternating between the two and I'm only using this one because I have it, so, you know. Sometimes I'll leave my lashes like this, but I do love lashes. I just love the effects lashes do and usually when I do like a everyday beat like this I'll go in with my Ardell Wispies just because I find that Wispies look really nice and they just blend really well in with like my natural lash and a lot of people when they come to my job they ask me like oh what lashes are you wearing um, and I tell them Ardell Wispies and they're like nah bitch nah the most common question is how do you get them to stick up I feel like the trick to making them look like they're like going up is coming from above like so the way I apply my lashes is this is my mirror my mirror is gonna be literally under my nose like I'm looking down and that way you're able to see where the lash band is going that's how I learned to put on my lashes literally make sure the glue is tacky and then you're gonna come up from above. So that way when the lash sits, it sits up, you'll see. So what I do is come up like this, bring it down. 
and just let it sit but you see how it's sticking up and then you can kind of like just do the edges but that initial placement it made them and what I do to really make them blend well is just taking my tweezers from the side. You never want to go like this because you'll probably poke your eye out. You just want to press it down. And most of the time I just use my finger and press it down. But I really love these lashes. I always get compliments with them. And they're just regular wispies. $3.00. You can't go wrong with these. Another thing that I do is cut them short because my eye is really small. So if you find that you're having trouble, like with the inner and outer corner, you might want to cut them. And that helps. It helps with the application. But usually when my eyes are done, when my lashes are on, is when I wipe this off. And I just kind of like buff it into my skin. Before applying my powder highlight, I like to set my face. That way when I apply my powder, it looks a little brighter. Set my face, I'm using the Morphe continuous setting mist if you ever have a day where you're just feeling extra cakey extra dry like you might have gone ham with your foundation or your powder i promise you drench your face in this and it just makes you look so it just it just adds that extra step and it sets your makeup beautifully not hype literally worth it and it's only 15 dollars compared to other setting sprays like this is so bomb and for highlight you guys already know what highlight. MAC, oh darling. <sighs> this is my baby. This is my baby. I literally try out hella highlights all the time. I can never have enough glow. So I have hella highlights. But one highlight that I always go back to is just MAC, oh darling. I love the way this makes my face look. And on top of the glitter drops, bitch. Look at that. <laughs> And then to make it a little bit more seamless, my beauty blender and just pat out the edges of that. And then for lips, I just keep it simple. I usually wear the Fenty Gloss Balm, which I don't know where I put. I have to look for it because I think I lost it. But Fenty Gloss Balm is bomb, 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 bomb. If you're looking for like an everyday gloss. Lately, the one that I've been using is the collaboration that ColourPop did with Shayla. Their gloss. I love the shimmer this gives me i don't know if it's picking up on camera but it has hella shimmer it's not sticky oh i love it i want to pick up the gloss that karen i love sarai collaborated with those of colors it's calling my name it's calling my name all right guys so that's all i have for this video i hope you guys liked it i hope it wasn't too long because I feel like I just talk talk too much but I've been learning a lot from Sephora and I've just been trying out a whole bunch of new products so I'm happy to share with you guys and just let you know what's good and what's not you know what's worth the hype what's not the people rave about certain things and it might not work for another person and vice versa so keep that in mind we're all different we all like different things what might work for me might not work for you so yeah <laughs> that's pretty much all I have as always thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for watching if you have any requests if you want to see anything leave it down in the comments below and i hope to see you in my next one bye guys All right, so i wrote a little because <laughs> i know that a lot of people rave about certain i just farted oh fuck oh you know when you accidentally pull a little bit of your skin with these shits oh my gosh